the more I try to live the faith, the less I like who I am. Mm. I think I had a better self-image pre-Christian. You know, I was, I, I, now I'm not talking me, but I'm using yeah, I the generic sense uh -huh. of I. I was a lot more content then. I, I didn't worry about some of these things that I worry about. I liked me better. Because you're not living the faith, sir, is the reality. If you feel that once you became a Christian, you liked yourself uh, less than when you did before, it's because you're not living the true faith. You're, you're trying to live a bunch of rules instead of living as a beloved child of I'm the Father. I'm falling short of those rules. Well, uh, again, that, that you're, you're always going to fall short. You know, that, you know, again, the day you got baptized, what happened? The sky opened up and God the Father said, you are my beloved son or you're my beloved daughter with whom I am well pleased. And what happens is, so that should be where we are. God the Father looks at all of us when we go to pray every day and says, you are my child and I'm pleased with you. And then what do we do? We focus on ourselves and say, well, you can't be pleased with me because I sinned or I had bad thought or I, or I did this. And we start giving him all the reasons. And God looks at us and says, why every time when you come into my presence? Do you look at yourself and your sinfulness instead of me and my love? And so what prayer then becomes is just you going before God and telling him how bad you are. And we think that God just loves Isn't that. Isn't that wonderful that you, you know, know that all oh, humility no this good. guy has. And, but humility begins there. It says, God, I'm not worthy of you. But then it doesn't end there. Because when I, when I humble myself before him, then he picks me up. And he says, I know. You're my beloved and I love you very much.